Hey, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. Let's explain the difference between the Sabbath of the Old Testament and Sunday of the New Testament, or as we call as Christians, the Lord's Day is Sunday. And we're familiar with what happens on the Sabbath, of course, because in the Old Testament, in the creation story, on the seventh day, God rested. So the seventh day, the last day of the week, God rested. And that's a Saturday. So Saturday is the Sabbath, the day of rest for the Jews. But Christians celebrate a different day of the week because on Sunday, the first day of the week, is the day that Jesus rose from the dead. In fact, a lot of the early Christians thought of it not only as the first day, but like the eighth day. Why the eighth day? What does that mean? Well, if there's seven days in the creation story, then in the new creation on Sunday, we have an eighth day. So this is about the new creation that was brought in by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And not so much a day of rest, but a day to remember the resurrection. So Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday, and we as Christians celebrate not rest, but we celebrate by joining together in reading God's Word and celebrating the Last Supper, the Eucharist, as Jesus said, in memory of what he did for us. What did he do? He died and he rose again so that we can rise with him as well. That's what we celebrate on Sunday. Not so much just rest, but dedicating the day to the Lord. Still fulfilling that commandment of the Old Testament to keep holy the Sabbath day, we as Christians keep holy the Lord's day by remembering his resurrection and joining together and making that day holy through the liturgy. Go make disciples. God bless.